This is Australia National University. According to the QS World University Rankings 2020, ANU is Australia's top university. Here's some news coming out of ANU. ANU to drop mother and father in bid for gender-inclusive education. Academics at the nation's top university have told staff to stop using the word mother and replace it with gestational parent, while a father should now be referred to as a non-birthing parent in order to deliver gender-inclusive education. My question, should we trust this university to teach our future leaders? Does anybody actually agree with this madness? Other words that the university are promoting. Instead of using breastfeeding, staff are now being asked to use the more inclusive chest feeding. Apparently, it's not just people with breasts who breastfeed now. Academics called breastfeeding ethically problematic because it endorses gender roles. Their view is gaining traction. US academics wrote in a study published in 2016 that the promotion of breastfeeding as the natural way to feed infants is ethically problematic. Yes, how dare we promote something that is natural. Clearly, nature is unethical. Another word that ANU staff cannot use now, mother's milk. The more gender-inclusive term human milk must be used instead. Question, what if the person doesn't identify as human? Then surely we have ourselves a problem. What about life form milk? That will cover all bases, won't it? Unless, of course, you identify as a rock. Of course, you can't use the terms mother and father anymore. You must now say gestational parent or non-gestational parent. I can imagine it now. Excuse me, sir, are you the father of this child? How dare you assume I'm the father? I'm the child's non-gestational parent, you ignoramus. And it's not a child. It's a non-gestational offspring, thank you very much. What about babies? I can see it now. Mama! No, I'm your gestational parent. You say it, gestational parent. Yeah, good luck teaching any child to say that in the first 10 years of life. Now that breast has been replaced with the more gender-inclusive term chest, does that now mean that females at ANU can now walk around the campus topless? I mean, if gender is not a thing anymore, they'd just be showing their chest, right? Which is what men can do. Of course, Mother's Day and Father's Day will have to be cancelled. I mean, celebrating Mother's Day would clearly make a fraction of a percentage of the population upset. You can look at all this splendid information by going to the ANU website and downloading the Gender Inclusive Handbook Every Voice Project. It contains many nuggets of information such as Try and schedule breaks for students if you have a long class. While a 20-minute break may not be feasible, consider ways to minimise the impact of the lactation break on the student's learning. Um, excuse me ma'am, I'm currently lactating. Can I take a break? Uh, oh, sure, please. OK class, lactation break! Or, consider organising group work so there is diversity in each group, but make sure that you do not leave a minority student alone in a group. So does this mean that teachers must now identify minorities and treat them differently, at least during group work? Isn't that the definition of discrimination? If I was a minority, I'd want to be treated just like everybody else. I'm sorry, Jimmy, because you're the only non-gestational lactating parent in the room, I'm afraid you won't be allowed to participate in group work as there are no other non-gestational lactating parents that I can pair you with. And the handbook clearly states that I cannot leave you alone in a group. Sorry, Jimmy. How many people do you actually know that are offended by the term mother or breastfeeding? Do you actually know anybody? I certainly don't. So if nobody is offended by it, why the fuck are we changing it? Because of some academics who decided that it was offensive? Look, I'm not against people who identify as female or male or whatever, but why must we change the language? Human milk? Gestational parents? Chest feeding? What is all of this? I'll tell you what this is. This is lunacy. Every Australian should stand up against this, especially the staff at ANU. These are not the ideas of a sane person. This is some sort of indoctrination of stupidity.